Hello everyone, this is part three of talking about what the literal fountain of youth is. Okay, so according to Patrick G. Flanagan, who was, by the way, threatened by uh, certain people, uh, when it came to his knowledge, um, about the fountain of youth he was approached by some people that told him hey we only want certain people we only want a small amount of people to um to know about this knowledge now if somebody came up to me that would not intimidate me at all and that would not stop me from making this knowledge come out it, it would never stop coming out it's becoming more and more mainstream. When when Betty Edie says that um, in the final days or whatever, everybody will be more youthful. I'm probably going to be the one, the the spark to set that fire off. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention in the other two videos is. Um, when you use up all your hydrogen, the the um, the 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 double helix of people's DNA is held together by these hydrogen bonds, these these negative ionized hydrogen bonds. Okay, and if you use up all your hydrogen, uh, when the one one cell could steal hydrogen ions from the others and it can it can it can um then uh it can cause uh damage dna and, and, and when the cells replicate they'll repl replicate damaged dna and so um but if you have enough hydrogen ions you can start to repair your damaged DNA if that should be the case and um, like I said before that pH scale power of hydrogen scale was not accurate to begin with and it goes from 0 to 14 you have to be off the charts with that stuff you know what I'm saying so this is number three of what the literal fountain of youth is bye for now